Welcome to Mississippi. It's so nice to get in some warmer weather uh, in February. I don't have to be ice fishing right now. It's like 70 degrees. It's a little windy, but they've got some big crappie here in Mississippi. Um, today I'm on Lake Enid, and I wanted to talk about kind of what I'm seeing on side imaging or side view uh, regarding pre-spawn crappie and kind of locations that you can find these fish probably February into March. Um, the further north you go, it's going to push March into April. My home state of Wisconsin, our pre-spawn is pretty much April. Talking about reservoirs and where you can find these crappie in reservoirs, typically it's the mouth of the feeder creek. Um, right now I'm just headed into one right here and on side imaging you can kind of see, one there's a bunch of bait, but all these little suspended groups of fish, most of them have been crappie. Like that's probably a pretty nice crappie right there. Those crappie tend to be a little bit more rounded. If it's a junk fish, they're gonna be a little bit more elongated. So there's something right there that's a little bit more of elongated. I don't know if that's something on the bottom or that's just a, you know, it could be a catfish or some sort of rough fish, carp, whatever they have in, in this river or this, uh, this reservoir system. I've actually caught almost my limit of crappie. The, the tricky part was actually trying to get fish over that 12 inch mark. A lot of them are like 11 and a half, 11 three quarter. Uh, which is crazy, they have a minimum 12 inch size limit on their crappie, which is probably why they get so big. Uh, on top of the fact that this lake never freezes, their growth season is 12 months out of the year, but really nice crappie in the live well. So you can see on both the left and right side of the screen, it's, it's really churned up right now because we've got a lot of waves. That's what all that little, it looks like a bunch of sediment. But when you get a bunch of waves like this, it's gonna look kind of choppy, but you can see below, this would be my, my down view right in the black area. Anything in the black on left and right of the screen is gonna be my down view. Here's a school of crappie out to the left. You can see the bright spots, but you can also see the shadows. The longer the distance between the bright spot and the shadow, the further that bright spot, the fish, is off the bottom. And uh, those fish are suspended. Oftentimes I'm finding these fish literally with the live scope two feet below the surface or sometimes right at the surface. Um, when, it, when the wind was a little bit lower, those crappie were actually pretty much right at the surface just sunning themselves. Apparently, this is the first warm stretch that uh, the Mississippi has had. So these crappie are in 50 degree water and they're rising right up to the surface trying to get some of that sun. But the main reason they're staging up in this area for pre-spawn is because as you go back into the feeder creeks, that's where they're gonna go to spawn. As you get into a, a spawning season, they're gonna stage up and kind of go into area kind of like this to my right. And uh, that really light blue area, it's pretty shallow. They're gonna, that's where they're gonna go to spawn. Um, they're protected from the wind on both sides here. If they go all the way back into the far back of this feeder creek, they get really protected of this wind. So, you know, that's kind of what they're looking for. So right now they're just staging in the middle of this feeder creek. Um, the depths are off because this this lake is really low for winter pool. Uh, but right now we're in 17 feet. I think the map says we're in like 35 feet. So it definitely comes up quite a bit during the spring and summer months. But basically all I'm doing is using side imaging to kind of troll through here and um, look for anything suspended. And I'm going to tell you right now, not all of these are crappie, but there is a ton of crappie, ton of bait, and uh, literally, I'm not the only person in here. There's like six or seven other boats. They're all doing the same thing, long poling, and there's just a ton of fish in here. It's been an incredible morning. As far as settings go on side imaging, kind of what I like to run, we'll kind of go here. So contrast, Typically, I run it actually a little bit lower than 50%, but yesterday when I was out here, it wasn't as, as there was actually zero wind, which is surprising for Mississippi. And I was able to kind of bump that contrast up. Today, I might want to move it down a little bit because we do got a lot of that sediment in the, in the water because of all this wind. So you can see as I'm touching it down, some of that sediment's going away and I can still see the fish just suspended all over the place. I'm gonna run it about 45. Let's try that. Um, brightness, I set this at auto low. Typically, this is kind of like your um, your gain setting on some of your other units. If I ran this all the way down, you can still see some fish, but it's a little bit harder to see them. Probably about 96, 97 would probably be okay. But I usually just set it on auto low and 
picks up all the bait fish that I possibly could want to see or all the crappie I want to see. Uh, frequency, this is set at the UHD frequency, which is the 1.07 megahertz. Um, some people ask about the zoom function. So there's two ways to do this. You can click on the zoom here, and actually I have it set for magnify mode, and that, that brings up this little box. Both your GPS map units and your echo map units have this. If you don't want to use to go into the options, you can just pinch the screen kind of like you're using your phone, Google Maps to expand and contract, and you can zoom in back and forth like that. There's a bigger, see, that would be some sort of trash fish maybe, I don't know. That's definitely not a crappie. You can see the big shadow. But yeah, that's a really cool feature. If you're going over brush piles or if you're in timber or rock piles and you're trying to zoom in on something maybe on the bottom, um, let's say that there's a fish on the bottom, I don't really see any right here, but you can definitely tell a lot better if there's a fish because of the separation because you can zoom in like that. It's a great feature. My range setting, I typically run this either 60 or 70 feet left and right. Um, unless you're looking for big pieces of cover, like if you're looking for brush piles or trees, you run it 100 feet left and right, and then once you mark those brush piles or trees, then you can circle back and kind of shrink your screen to go 60 feet left and right. And that just give you a better image and separation on brush piles with crappie. So like if I bump this all the way out to 100 feet, it's going to be a little bit harder to pick up the crappie. Your screen's trying to cram a lot of data into your 9, 10, 12 inch screen. Whereas if I zoom in here, back to my, we'll go 60 feet, you can really start to see, you know, there's a, there's a fish suspended there. There's a couple other bright spots right there, maybe three of them. Um, as we get out, these crappies seem to be in like 17 to 20 feet right now, at least the bigger ones that I was catching today. There's another school right there, these bright spots. That's a bunch of crappie. And then you can see there's stuff, some fish on the bottom. A lot of it could be bait fish too, but generally speaking, a lot of these are just gonna be crappie staging up, getting ready to spawn here in the next month. Um, side view setup. Another question I get about scroll speed, I think I did an old video with a, an old hummingbird on this. Honestly, I just set it for the, the mid point, which is five. Some people might have a percentage, just set it for 50%, you should be good. Um, your noise reject, I think I have these both on low. Uh, you never really should have to turn them up unless you're around a lot of other boats. Even then, I don't think it's that necessary. So the color scheme, this is the orange crawfish. I started using hummingbirds way back, and so this actually is very similar to that, so I'm, I'm just used to it with my eyes. But um, I think copper is another popular one. I think some of the Lawrence guys run this ice blue. But use your preference. I, I can see fish really well with this orange crawfish setting, so that's what I use. So that's pretty much all the sonar settings that I need to be able to see a lot of these fish just suspended out in the middle of this creek here. There's two ways to catch these fish. There's live scoping, which pretty much every single boat out here is doing. Um, the other way to do it is to long pole spider rig. I mean, the spider rig setup, I'm pretty sure was invented here in the state of Mississippi. And uh, it's another great tactic. Put a bunch of baits out far in front of the boat and catch a ton of fish. So now we're getting back into the bigger schools. Um, you can see they're just schooled up all over the place. The one thing I notice compared to down south versus up north, typically you would find big balls of crappie up north, whereas these fish, they're much more separated. You know, it's a school of fish, but it, it spans, you know, a couple hundred yards, and they're not really tight together. Uh, whereas up north, if you see a school of crappie up north, and I'll try to put a side imaging setting. It's going to look a lot more like this right here. I don't know if these are crappie or not, but see how tight those are schooled up? Now can you imagine like 200 or 300 of them? That's what that looks like up north. Here's another section of some fish, but that's typically what it looks like when we're up north. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me today. If you got any comments or questions on how to use side imaging, some of the setups that I use on my side imaging screen, or my settings for the live scope. Uh, you can post them in the comment section below. 
or you can message me on their Facebook or Instagram. Can't believe the minimum size here is 12 inches on these lakes, and these are some really nice crappie. That one's gonna fry up later tonight. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.